Hey yo, what is up Herp Squad? My name is Joel Macy and this is Julio and we got Isaac and it is 26 degrees out. The wind chill is 17 degrees out and we're going to the zoo. Let's go. Hey, we're zoo science students. Zoo science students getting free guys. <laughs> Too bad everything is winterized right now. Flamingos would be here right now. All right guys, so here we are entering the amphibians and reptiles building. We went ahead and did this voiceover because we were not sure exactly what to expect. And also because there was lots of white noise inside the building from the ventilation ducts. All right, so we're walking through. First thing we see is this exhibit. It has a lot of local wildlife, so that's pretty cool. A few species of river turtles all sharing this tank. If anything, it shows you how like, even though some animals might be considered aggressive to one another, if they're given enough space where they uh, can separate out from one another, especially things like soft shells, they'll be able to get along just fine. Up next, we have the Aldabra tortoise enclosure. Aldabras are usually kept outside, but since it's so cold today, they have been brought in. Here we have three Aldabra tortoises. On average, Aldabras have been known to live over 150 years. So right after the Aldabras, we get to the alligator snapping turtle. These are personally one of my favorite animals. They're just really prehistoric looking. We have a male and a female here. That big guy on the bottom is Jeb. He's one of the largest alligator snapping turtles I've ever seen. And in there you can see the little fleshy uh, lure that they use to get fish to uh, get consumed by them. Yeah, they're just really prehistoric looking turtles. All right guys, so what we have here in this next enclosure is a Sheltopusk. And so this Sheltopusk is a European legless lizard. And you can tell it is a lizard because of those little holes on the side of its face. Those are ears, and snakes do not have ears. So that is how you tell legless lizard from snakes. Um, also cohabitating with this enclosure is a European green toad. Um, they're from the same area, and so they are fine together. The next animal we come up to is the Eastern Hellbender. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're a fan of these guys. Alrighty guys, so what we have here is a very, very special treat. These are baby Chinese alligators, also known as the Yangtze gator. Besides the American alligator, the Chinese gator is the only other alligator species in the world. And while the American alligator is doing quite well um, conservation-wise, the Chinese alligator is actually critically endangered with fewer than 120 left in the wild. That is why we are so excited for these little dinos. The Cedric County Zoo hatched out seven babies about a month ago. The parents were taken off exhibit for breeding purposes and we are really, really excited to see more breeding in the future. All right, so this is probably one of the coolest animals we saw on the entirety of the visit to the reptile and amphibian building. These are the king cobras. The one that we just looked at was a female and they also have a big male, which uh, we're about to see climbing up. They're very interesting because they're actually the world's longest venomous snake. And another pretty cool fact is they're in their own genus, Ophiophagus, which is different from the rest of the cobra species. They can get as long as 14 feet, and we're gonna see this guy rear up and kind of show us how long he is and just how dangerous these snakes can be. They have enough venom to actually kill animals such as elephants, and the venom itself is not entirely dangerous, it's just the amount that they're able to inject in a single bite is what makes them so deadly. Okay, so up next we have a Gila monster and a Chuck Walla. Again, we get to see animals of different species cohabitating. Gila monsters are one of the very few species of venomous lizards in the world. Chuck Wallas and Gila monsters live in the same arid region of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. All lizards in the family Iguanidae, like Chuck Wallas, bob their head to communicate and show dominance.
showed guys the flamingos came out. I don't know where they were. They must have been inside to eat or something real quick. And now they're all out here, real beautiful. Good looking animals. <laughs> all right, let me catch up with the boys real quick. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that was our trip to the zoo. We just checked out the reptiles and amphibians today, but we do promise we will be back and we'll check out the other exhibits. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna go home and warm our hands up because it's a little bit chilly, what do you say? It's cold. Yeah, what do you say, Gronk? Yeah, we need a Okay, so uh, anyway, what do you say we run back to the car, fellas? Let's go. <laughs> I'm winning all day. Are you baby? Are you baby the penguin? Baby the penguin? I think you are baby the penguin. Oh my god, you're the best. I'm going, buddy. I'll come over here. I can't tell if it's getting a good shot or not. It's probably focused on the chain link. Up here and say how to go. Mm -hmm. I got gummies, man. Are we going to